Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be making this simple shooting game. So we need to shoot these uh, green cubes coming like this. So let's start. So let's start. So let's start by making the ground. So for that, go click here in the hierarchy and then go to 3D objects and then click on uh, plane. So this will add a plane like this. And let's change the size of this. So click this option here and just drag it like this. And then let's move it a bit over here by taking on the move tool. Move it a bit over here. Rise it a bit. Uh, I think I'll make the Y zero. That's better. And I'll also make the Z position position also zero. So it will be perfectly like this and let's add a player so go to 3d game object and add a cube so this is going to be our player just a simple cube so we keep him right above the ground like this so the cube should not touch this uh, touch this uh, plane or else there be there could be some problem Okay, so now we can add some colors to these uh, objects. So let's go to uh, create and then click folder and then uh, type color because uh, wait. Uh, color. Okay, so this is where we'll be keeping all our colors. So we need to create and go to material to create a material. And I'll make this, I'll name this ground. And I'll make it a bit green. If you want, you can remo uh, remove the smoothness from here. So it is, it looks better. I think I'll make it completely zero. That's better. And let's make another material for the player. And I'll name this player. And let's make this a little blue blue color and add it on the cube. Okay, so now let's uh, make the player move. So let's go back to uh, this folder and create a new folder here and let's name it scripts and now let's create a new c -sharp script and I'll name this player let's open it So first we need to make a public variable and I'll, I'll name it and it should be a float type and I'll name it speed. So this is for controlling the speed of the player. So down here let's say if in Put dot get access and not get access get key down get key so there's a get key down uh, get key down get key up and get key so the get key down is when we just click the button 
and the get key is when we are long pressing the key and get key up is when we leave a key so we need get key because when we continue we need to continuously press the key to uh, make it move so now you have to write key code code dot you can uh, write left left arrow here for detecting the left arrow if you just want to make it into an uh, key like alphabet key you can just type that alphabet key here in capitals but I want the uh, left arrow here so here let's say uh, let's say uh, transform so so uh, before that if I go back to unity go to the player let's name this player and now you see this transform and we need to access this transform component to make this move if I uh, change the y not the y the z axis the cube will now move so we need to access this transform to uh, make the cube move so back in the code we have to say transform dot position position is plus equal to new vector 3 new vector 3 so so this is this area is for the uh, x axis and then for the y axis and then last for the z axis let's say uh, speed we can add speed there and now let's copy paste this code copy and paste it right below it and this let's change it to right arrow key and now you have to make this negative so it moves in the other direction right uh, this need to add this here okay now it's right and now let's go back to unity so let's attach this code here let's uh, add this let's make the speed 0 0.5 and see how it works Uh, before that let's uh, set up the camera so I'm just going to spin it like this and then let's move it a bit upwards right about the player like this that's fine now and now let's run the game okay so we can control it but uh, it's not going in the right way if I press the right arrow key it's going left and if I press the right arrow key it's going the other way so let's go back to code and remove the minus from here and put it here and now it should work correctly okay now it's working correctly let me just reduce the speed a bit so i'll make it 0 0.1 that should be good yeah this is a good value i'll just make it a bit more let's make it 0 0.06 
Ah, this is more better. Okay. So now let's make the player shoot. So for that, let's make a new script and let's name this bullet. So this is for the bullet, the code for the bullet. So let's just open this and just go to the player and let's just uh, no need like to do that so before that let's go to unity and make a small bullet so this is going to be our bullet and let's just spin this a bit like this make it a bit smaller and let's make it a bit more smaller and now you have to go and go to add component and click on you can just type rigid body here so we need rigid body so you can just click rigid body here or you can just uh, go to physics and then get this rigid body so rigid body will just add simple uh, physics to this little uh, object so if i just run this this will just fall so it'll just give physics to this object and you just need to uh, switch off the gravity here so now this object won't have any uh, gravity in it and now let's go back to unity and now we need to uh, access that component so let's make a variable public okay object public game object i mean not game object rigid body public rigid body and I'll just name it RB and all we need to do is just simply uh, add RB dot velocity is, e is equal to new vector 3 so we need this to move in the uh, x-axis so x-axis is uh, in front of the player so it's, I, we need to make one more variable that is public float speed so now let's type speed here that's going to be our velocity in the x-axis and for y-axis and z-axis let's just add zero we don't need velocity to be there we only need it to be in the x-axis which is in front of the player okay so now let's go back to unity and this bullet will just move forward okay so let's add this bullet and put it here and let's make the speed something like 5 and just drag this rigid body and put it in this variable here or you can just drag the game object itself and put it there and let's name this uh, bullet and now if I run this game object should move forward wait it's moving backwards so I'll just make it negative 10 to make it go faster I made it 10 and now it's going forward which is exactly what we need okay so now uh, let's make a prefab of this little game object so we can use it again and again 
but before that i'll just make a quick material for this bullet bullet i'm just going to make this a bit brown so you just need to put this here and just need to put the red here that's how you make red some people get confused how to make red in this area and i'll just get rid of the smoothness and put it on the game object okay so now let's go back to our assets and then create a new folder this is going to be prefab so prefab is something that we can keep on use use again and again so if i put this prefab here and delete it from the scene you can just drag it and drop it again here you don't need to make a copy of this or anything so you can just simply drop it there okay so now let's go back to the player script player and let's copy this code one more time and paste it and here we are detecting for space key space key to shoot so let's delete this and let's make a new uh, variable that's going to be public game object bullet so this is where we'll be storing our prefab bullet bullet prefab and and here let's make a clone of that bullet and shoot it from the game object so for that let's say instant before that let's go back to unit so you need an area for the bullet to spawn so you can't just make it simply spawn it in the center of this game object or else if the collider this uh, cube has will uh, make the bullet go somewhere else instead of making go forward so for that let's uh, just right click just click on this player and then right click on it and then let's go to add 3d game object and add not only 3d game object let's just add an empty and let's name this gun or i'll name this shooting or point or oh, that's a better name and i'll just drag it and put it right in front of the player you need to keep, make some uh, keep some distance from this and this so if you want to uh, see you at that object you can just right next to this name you see this little cube or any other icon just need to click it and then there will be some options here you can click anything here i'm just going to click here so this will just uh, do this so we can see that empty clearly okay so now that's done let's go back to uh, go back to uh, the script and let's make a new variable public game object shoot shooting point so we'll store the shooting point game object there and now let's make a clone of it so for that let's say instantiate then there's two brackets and in the brackets first you have to say what you have to instantiate that's going to be our bullet and then you have to say at which position so for that let's say uh, 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 shooting point shooting point dot transform dot position and the last statement is to uh, add the rotation so for that let's just say quaternion dot identity quaternion is a very complicated thing so i'll not explain it uh, 
so this is for just uh, saying like to uh, like no no need no need to change any directions so that's why you're using quaternion dot identity okay so now let's go back to unity and just for one second let's go to the bullet prefab and make this 90 the rotation and then now let's go back here and see whether the shooting is working oh wait i forgot to assign the shooting point and the bullet so just drag and drop the bullet there and the shooting point here okay so now our player can shoot but it's shooting way too many bullets like that so for that let's go here and uh, now what we can do is just uh, copy paste, paste this so control let's just uh, make a new function void uh, shoot and now let's copy paste this so just copy this entire line and just put it here and let's delete it from here and here let's say in hook in hook so so invoke will uh, like delay this function so, so we are using that shoot and let's say the time we need to delay so let's just add 0 0.5 let's add a very small value that's better and you have to add f after this this is a decimal so you need to add f every time after a decimal and now let's see whether it's working oh, still too many still too much bullets so the problem here is that we are saying get key so we need to make this get key down so that we, it's just detecting when we are just clicking. Now it should work properly. Now let's run. And now it's shooting properly. But the direction is not in the right way. So what I can do is uh, just need to rotate the shooting point like this and now it should work no still not working or let's just delete this and just type shooting point dot Dot, uh, rotation and now it will work okay so now the shooting is working properly so now let's add the uh, obstacles coming from the other side so here uh, let's just uh, create new game object that's gonna be um, 
obstacle obstacles create so this will spawn the obstacles and let's make a game object and here let's say ob obstacles obstacles spawn spawn here so this this is where the obstacles will spawn so let's just drag it and put it a bit over here and I'll just give this a small icon so I know where it is okay right over here right over here should be a good position okay so now let's duplicate it four times and the first one can go somewhere at the side here the third one the second one can go here third one can go here and this is where the obstacles can spawn the positions of the obstacle spawn so now let's create a new uh, C script that's gonna be uh, let's name this Spawn. Spawn. Obstacle spawner. So you, you should put any space between these letters, otherwise, it will show an error. So let's go to uh, Visual Studio and start typing the code. So now we need to make an array. So array is something like a list. So let's say public game object. And to make an array, you just need to put square brackets here. And now it's an array. And let's say Now let's just copy paste this and put it here spawn so these two names are not supposed to be same I added an S here so it's a bit different so that's fine and now let's go back to Unity so I'll show you how it looks so let's add this here and now uh, if I just you have to lock this and now we can click all of these and drag and drop them here so now you can see we have stored four items here so this is a this is an array so now let's go back here and now the and now we need to make one more variable this is, this should not be public so int Spawn point. Spawn point. So this is where the object is going to spawn. So, uh, so let's make a function. Void. Void. Uh, uh let's just copy this again is there obstacle and let's name it obstacle create here
okay so here let's say this spawn spawn point should be equal to so it should be uh, it should be equal to a, a random number from 1 to 4 so for that let's say random dot range and I have to say the minimum value here that's going to be 1 and then the maximum value that's going to be 4 so now I'll just uh, pick a, a random number between this and now down here let's say and instantiate and before instantiating let's make a public public game object obstacle so we'll be storing the prefab of the obstacle here we'll, we'll make the prefab of the obs obstacle later so here let's say instantiate instantiate uh, instantiate obstacle and it should be instantiated at so the position let's say uh, what is the name of that obstacle spawner obstacle spawner spawner and then you have to put the square brackets and this is where we choose in which part of the list should we choose so here let's say uh, spawn point spawn point dot transform dot position 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 now so one more thing let's make this zero and make this three because the first element in array starts with zero so we need to make this zero and we have four things so it will end with three that's why or else it will show an error if, if the number four comes and let's copy this and just paste it here and just type uh, let's say rotation here okay so now that code is done and here let's we need to make a code called invoke repeating so this is for repeating a code repeating a function multiple times you need to put it in the start function this will be continuously happening if you put it in the update function it will become too fast and will spawn a bunch of obstacles and lag the game so let's say uh, so we need to copy this and paste it like that and not this to copy this and paste this here you need to uh, it should be correct the spelling and then let's and this should be the time so let's say three seconds and then the rate and let's just say it 0 0.5 f okay now let's make this one one could be a good value okay so now let's go back to unity and now uh, 
let's let's just uh, make a obstacle prefab so let's create a 3d game object that's going to be a cube so so let's uh, name this cube obstacle obstacles and let's just uh, drag this and drop it here and now this is an obstacle and let's just delete it from here because it's over here and now let's go back to obstacle creator and just put this there and now uh, let's run and see whether it's working we need to wait for some time for an obstacle to spawn and some obstacles are spawning you can see that you can see that some obstacles have spawned there actually let's change the color of this just gonna make the color same as the ground and let's see whether that's working just to see whether it's working or not okay so our cubes are spawning there and now let's make them move so uh, let's go to scripts and then create a c-shop folder and name this obstacles or it should just be obstacle it should not be obstacles i'll just leave it and just need to go to a bullet and let's copy these things we don't need to write them again so let's just put this there take this and this also we should put it here that's better so this will now move forward just like the bullet and now here we need to say if I don't need if let's say void so this is a function so let's say on a collision enter so this function is to detect whether we are colliding with any other objects on collision enter so you need to spell it exactly like this then only it will work so now here let's say uh, if if this if this object has hit something we need to just destroy this game object let's type game object here so this is how you destroy a game object you can make it this dot game object or just leave it as game object so just leave it at game object okay so now let's see whether that's working just and now let's run wait for some objects to come Oh wait, we for I forgot again to uh, uh, assign the code. I always forgot forget to assign this script. And let's also add a rigid body. Rigid body. I'll just move this up here. And now let's put the rigid body there. And make this uh, five. And now let's see how it works. Okay, so now some cubes are coming. Oh, wait, they have gravity, so they're just hitting the ground and then just getting destroyed. So let's go and disable gravity for the obstacle. And now let's run. And now it should work properly. 
and now you can see some uh, objects are coming and also one more thing you can just simply shoot like this and the bullet never gets destroyed and just simply goes forward like that we don't need that so so let's just uh, go to that obstacle and just copy this and paste it here also okay so now if this bullet hits anywhere it will get destroyed let's go back here let's see how it works and also one more thing in the player let's make the shooting a bit more faster so let's say 0 0.001 that should be 0 0.001 like this okay so let's see whether that works okay okay so now both the objects get destroyed when they hit okay and that's it if you like this video please subscribe and click the bell icon thanks for watching bye